Hello Nawab, my name is Khurshid. I am from Uncle K Live TV and it's a radio plus it's all a web TV. We broadcast through the website and everybody can watch throughout the world. Even on your mobile, they, you, they can listen to our show. So we do live shows but this time because of this exhibition we collect everything together then we edit the video so thank you. So, Nawab, tell me, you are dealing with a very, very expensive and very, I mean, precious commodity. You said you are dealing with uh, saffron. Saffron. So, tell me a history about saffron. Isn't it a very difficult thing to process and pack from the time it is sown in the soil? How long it takes to grow and then how do you collect that? A little bit history about it. For sure. At the first, I want to say, uh, w welcome to the Afghanistan site and uh, I thank to have you in, in here. Thank you. Uh, yes, Zafran is like you said, the, the most expensive uh, things in, in the world. Uh, you know, uh, Zafran is too naive in Afghanistan. It's uh, become like 10 years ago, it, for the first time it was in Afghanistan. And after 10 years, we have uh, uh, really we, we are really good in Zafran product. And uh, Zafran take up, uh, Zafran live is for seven years for the grow up, for the uh, onion. The time of sowing, okay, yeah. that's a long way. Right? Yeah, long way, they take like three, uh, six to seven years. Each year from uh, 1,000 meters, you can collect it like, uh, I'm going to make it a little smaller. If, uh, if you make from one, one gram, saffron makes from one kilo's flour of saffron. You know, this takes lots of works, lots of uh, hand works, you know, the, uh, uh, people working. Like I have in, in my country uh, a process center for the, the saffron. Uh, in, in a day, 120 women working in there. And each woman in a day, they, they uh, process three grams of in a whole day, like eight hours to nine hours, they, they process like three grams to four grams saffron. But uh, it's, uh, it's really good. We are right now in Dubai and we are in, in international markets. We found lots of uh, dealers. We talk with them and uh, it's good to say thanks from UCID to support our country, who are actually Zafrons. And we are really happy right now in Dubai. Uh, uh, what did you mean by UCID? What does that stand for? UCID is one of the uh, helper companies from US okay. to support Afghanistan. And uh, they, are, uh, they help us to rent that area. In, in here, and actually, they are they are supporting Afghan businessmen okay. to come to. Now, uh, when you are giving me the story of uh, zafran from the time it grows, do you have to dry these flowers first, then take out? I think these are the petals of the flowers. Right? Yeah, you know, uh, in a September, in a September each year, we have a season for 20 days zafran flowers, and first we we. Uh, catch all the uh, all the flowers they come to the process center after that maybe after one hours the people they are working in a process center they are processing or uh, making out saffron from the flowers they, each flower of saffron have three length and they, they they cut the lengths and after that uh, they they going to the dryer machine and they maybe 30 minutes for the make and dry and that's and it yeah but it, isn't it a critical stage seven years something could happen there could be disease there could be i mean you could spoil the crop you know? yeah but seven uh, year wait is high, high. how much investment is there you're just waiting for it each years you know the each years we, we can we can catch some flowers not like like whole flowers but every year start going to be better 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 last year we have a really cool uh, season in, in afghanistan at that case our zafran bad for zafran zafran can enter uh, 6 
70 degrees, they can, uh, in, when the weather is going to be cold, they can live. But if it's going upper, making down our 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 you zapper. By upper, you mean becoming more hot? More cold. More cold. Yep. Going down. Down. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. So what is the mean uh, mean temperature in Afghanistan? I think it is minus zero. Yeah, minus zero. But we it snows there. Sometimes on that mountain top. Only. Yeah, Not we are. In the cities. We are working in Herat. Herat is one of the hot, hot place in Afghanistan. Okay, so that's suitable for this crop. Yeah, for this crop. All right. Okay, I'm Nawab. Sorry, it's a beautiful. I I love zafran, and it's not available everywhere because we put it, you know, like your Afghani pulao and all. We use it in our biryani also. <laughs> So it is really a good commodity, but surprising, I thought it was only from Spain and Kashmir. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that Afghanistan also had saffron. Yeah, uh, Afghan, uh, like I told you, saffron was 10 years ago came to Afghanistan. And they, we, we really, you know, uh, the, our uh, situ weather situation will be very good with saffron. Right now we have uh, the best quality in the world. Like uh, last year, it was a competition in, in uh, Turkish. Our zafran was the, the first zafran in the. That ten year experiment succeeded. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. Very good, very good. All the best. Yeah. Thank, uh, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for your time and the interview. You're okay. welcome, sir. Bye.